I would give this a five star rating. It helps me have extra hands when I'm working and helping hands isn't enough. These switches, toggle switches, uh, come in a few different varieties and they're fun and useful. Um, and they can handle up to five amps in 120 volts AC. Over here in storage, I installed the other variety of this. Light turns on when we open the door and it's quite robust. Limit switch, ME8104, and then they have a normally open and normally closed pair. Really affordable, like 12 bucks for a pack of two or something. This one is wired in with a cable cover and I just have it taped here just in case I need to make some sort of adjustment. I wasn't ready to, to drill holes and permanently fasten it. These come from the industrial space uh, where they put equipment end stops where something may bump up against that and it would be the end of a machine axis or something. And I almost forgot, I also made this bracket that fits together with them. So ugh, for DIN rail, you can clip it on there and then this little hook uh, makes it stay. So now we can have a, a quick rapid test setup where we just wire something in there. I am working on, uh, I think there needs to be a tour where I go through all of the sort of custom setup elements inside the lab. Um, and so maybe that could be one chunk of a, a large video. The trouble is I really just want to cover the items that have lasted for a year or more and, uh, and are uh, refined enough for me to share and actually give a recommendation. Okay, I found it here on GrabCAD. I called it the DIN spring. And there it is it's with uh, the SOLIDWORKS files and step file and STL, etc. It's 3D printable and the model will come with uh, this little segment, oh my goodness, in the middle. So while you're printing up in this direction, then that segment is the uh, placeholder so that the filament doesn't sag when you're printing. Basically, you don't need to generate any supports to make this part. My last couple of full length videos were a little bit serious and ugh, I'm tired of that. So let's get back into the tech nerd stuff.